Hey guys, it's Marissa, kitchen table stamper.com. Got a cute little last minute stocking stuffer for you today. I got a couple left that I'm trying to make, so you'll see me with a few more videos still. Just last minute things that you can pull together to hand out, spread a little Christmas cheer. Got these little six pack of Hershey's snowman. Got these at Meyer. You get six of them in a pack, and they're just too cute. I really couldn't resist. I love the style of the art. He's just so cute, isn't he? And so I took the package, which I was so impressed with. I really loved it, and used it to inspire just a cute little wrap. A little peekaboo box, and we're going to make that today. Super, super easy. So we're going to get started. It's going to be a cute, simple, quick one for you today, and hopefully it inspires you to grab what you got and spread some Christmas cheer. Let's see. I'm going to start with some early espresso cardstock. I thought this would also work really well with like Night of Navy for a dark sky behind the chimney. So I really wanted to stick to the um, design and the package and the colors and everything but if you try it with night and navy let me know it might be really cool with a gold bell maybe some stars in the sky so i was thinking about it just decided though that i was going really true to the packaging all right so my cardstock is five by six and we're gonna score this up i'm gonna grab my simply scored and we're going to pop this in on the five inch side to start with. It's so hard to see the early espresso against the score. All right. So on the five inch side, you're going to score at one half. One. And then two and three quarters. And three and a quarter. And give it a quarter turn then you'll score at one half at four and a half and at four and three quarters so that's it we're gonna trim away I've got a template the picture of the template will be on the project sheet I grab my bone folder and work all these lines Carol says such a happy little Santa. That's it. I was attracted to him. I, you know, milk, milk chocolate Hershey's is a winner around here. And then the little bars are embossed. I didn't open one up. Well, I shouldn't say I didn't open one up because I did. Um, I had one laying on the table in the office and I had a space heater going. <laughs> Kate, do you know where the story is going? And so I come back in the office to finish up this this little package and I pick up the Hershey bar and it just squishes it was completely Here. liquid all right so I just liberated my tabs at the bottom now we've got the two squares here this one is liberated but we're going to cut off the glue tab so make a little angle cut on this half inch rectangle and then cut out this corner all right now here's our glue tab. We're working on that half inch glue tab. So at the first score line here, we're gonna cut a little angle and then cut off these two rectangles. Now here, you've got a long rectangle, a really short little one. You wanna keep that really short little one. That's gonna make a fold in tab that'll keep it nice and clean. But you're gonna get rid of this big long one. Go past the first score into the second score and then cut out. So there's your little tab, that guy folds in. Here we're gonna just liberate the little tab, cut a little dart, and then same with the next one, you're cutting two score lines here. Stop at the second one, cut out the dart, and then we're gonna trim this down, that little tab, trim at that first score line. So there's your box. Now, we're going to do this cute little scallop top, and that needs our detail tag topper. And this is going to be a little tricky to get in here. What I found worked best is if I folded down all these tabs, 
See, so we're gonna we're gonna punch this one. That's what we're working on. So all the rest of them are folded down, and then you're gonna guide this tab into the punch so that you can line up the scallops. Now it's not two inches wide. This is only one and three quarters. So you're gonna line this edges up with this little scallop here. All right. So we're gonna slide that guy in, and you're gonna slide the tab in. And then the rest of this is gonna go under. Do you see how it's underneath? We're gonna guide it from behind now till it stops, lining up those little scallops. Punch, and then kind of rotate and pull it out. That way your little tabs don't get stuck when you're pulling it out. All right, then we're gonna do the same thing for this other guy. We're gonna fold down everybody but the tab we're punching. So those are folded down. Then we're gonna guide this guy in, keeping those little folded tabs. They're gonna slide under. See how they slide right under? And then here, these guys are gonna have to slide under. And then we'll line that up. See how it's just a little bit too far to the left? We'll give it a little pull. These are our points that we're trying to line up to the edge of the brown paper. And then we're gonna give a punch. And then to move it out, just kind of rock. Good? <laughs> Let me get rid of all this and we're gonna cut a window. Got my stitched rectangle here. Now it's really important. This right here is the front of your box. You want the seams to go to the back. So you wanna do half inch, half inch window, all right? The template will have it all to remind you. And you go about three quarters of an inch down from this second score line. Center right to left. And I'll do a little low tech tape to keep it in place. Let me grab my Stephen Cotton Emboss machine. Funny, funny story. Um, let me show you. Ethel says, what die is that? So let me show you the little window. Um, it is our stitched rectangles. And it's this little guy. I call it L. And I go in like order of biggest to smallest. So this is the second smallest. It's this kind of wide. Then the next smallest one is M, this little skinny. So it's about one and 11 sixteenths by one and a quarter. That's your window, and it's perfect for this little, this little treat. I love how it stitches the little rectangle. We can use this for something else, but it also stitches your treat. All right, so we got a little more die cutting to do, so let me just set this aside. I'm going to grab my little guy. I am having so much fun with this little guy. And we're going to take scraps of Garden Green. We got two little bows here. I grabbed the bows from the mini curvy keepsake box. And then let me slide that to the end of my pad. I've got a little whisper white here. Wait till you see how much we can do with this machine. This is the oval tag from the mini curvy keepsake. And then we're gonna also, because if four dies isn't enough through this little machine, this is the stitched so sweetly, little stitch rectangle, and we're gonna just cut them all out at once using this itty bitty little machine. There we go, see? And I'm gonna use a little tape to get that out of there. Have you guys seen that trick? I keep washi tape left over from other projects all over the place because it's great for that. <laughs> all right, so all that die cutting, one pass on our bitty little machine. Let me show you really quick, which is so sweetly. This is the die. It's that littlest stitched rectangle. I thought it was kind of a cute little chimney topper. I would if Stampin' Up! had glitter paper, white glimmer paper. Currently, I probably would have cut this little guy out of some glimmer paper, but mm, we don't have any right now. I have plenty of leftover retired one. I just didn't want to use something that you can't get. All right, so... One more step, and we're going to need our big stamp and cotton emboss machine again. But I think I'm going to stamp first. 
I've got my tag, little stitched oval, and no peeking till Christmas. This one is from Itty Bitty Christmas. I've used this a whole lot this holiday season. It's the perfect little greeting for everything, especially treats. Oh, what yum from our house to yours. I have a sugar sprinkled season. Really great for treats. All right, so that's Itty Bitty Christmas. And we've got soft suede ink. And I didn't cut an extra one, so I was hoping it turned out perfect. Oh, good. And it's to the left a little because of the jingle bell and the um, bow. So a little left of center justified. And then we're going to take these little guys add a dot of multi-purpose liquid glue on the back of their stems. And we'll just put those right on our tag. I love green boughs and red berries, so that's kind of what I was going for with the little red jingle bell. These are so much fun. Jingle bells, they are on closeout. You get, oh, I believe 24. Yeah, 24, three colors, shaded spruce, cherry cobbler, and gold. They match Stampin' Up! colors awesome. And they are on sale, 24 bells, 250. So if you got an order going in for the closeout, Grab some of these little bells. They make great accents on treats. And at 10 cents a bell, awesome. All right, so let me grab my Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I've got a piece of real red cardstock. It is um, one and five eighths by four and five sixteenths. We're gonna pop it into the brick. Um, I think it's brick and mortar, 3D embossing folder. And it's got a definite um, vertical horizontal pattern here. So we want to line it up on our bricks. And we pop that through the Stamp and Cotton Emboss machine. This one's 3D, so you use one, then the folder, then four. Now, this is something where you could do a strip of red emboss the whole thing and then just cut it into pieces if you're making multiples you could do the embossing for three at a time two passes would emboss everything you need for the whole pack of snow or of santas here's our little santa our tag and the home we're building for him now here you're going to want to use a strong glue or a liquid glue i'm going to use my seal plus we're going to adhere the brick to the base and you want to draw lines at the edges of this paper. You want to go all the way to the edge. All right. A lot of adhesive because this is going to get folded. You want to line up so that you're over the first score line and just a bit beyond the edge. That's okay because once we Work this with our bone folder and bring it all together. It's going to work out just fine. So we're going to gently work the score. And then the next one, we're going to fold it and gently work the score. You don't want to work your brick pattern out. You just want to get a nice crease again and gently work the score. And I found that this way with a little extra sixteenth of an inch and gluing it to the front of the box. So when it comes together, was easier than trying to figure out all those sixteenths to wrap it. So before you put it, before you put your brown box together, add your little brick chimney detail. Let's get some adhesive to put this guy together. We're gonna go along the long tab all the way and then skip the window tab and put it on the back tab. All right. I need to take your pick tool here. <laughs> I am not much a spatula user. I like the little piercer to help me get my adhesive rolling. Going to fold this guy in, bring this guy around. We're going to square up our box. Watch your score line at the top and at the bottom. Line it up nice and square. And then you can just press down and burnish. The bottom, 
inside tabs or the side tabs will go in and then the back to the front peel and then the front to the back so now all your seams go to the back which is great I take my bone folder and burnish that He's just too cute. Let's get him in there so he peeks out. Hmm. Love him. Love him. All right. I need a tap. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive, a little, maybe half inch. It just holds it a little bit neater, but I don't think that anybody will destroy the packaging taking it apart. And then see how that pushes right down and in. You can seal that. <laughs> Our little rectangle. You could add some glitter here or use some glimmer paper if you wanted to make it look snow capped. I hope that um, Stampin' Up! will bring back some of our white glimmer paper. It really comes in handy. We're going to pop that up on the front of our treat. Let me bring in what we're doing here so you guys can see. All right, so I've got my sticky dimensionals and we're gonna just cover the very edge there. Make a little chimney topper. <laughs> and it's a really simple little treat. That's the idea now is just to get you through the holidays with those last minute things. Hopefully take some of the stress off you and help you spread some cheer. We're just gonna reapply our tag the hole through the greenery. So much fun. All right, I need ribbon. I thought that the little polka dot tool looked between, um, you know, fluffy snow or a starry night. It just seemed to be the perfect ribbon. So that's what I've got here. I'm going to thread through the box and tie it closed. And then I'm going to cut away from the spool, which I don't usually do. I keep wasting so much ribbon on the tails because I want to take both tails through the tag for this particular project. Need some ribbon scissors. We all know my paper scissors bounce off ribbon. Okay, there's our tails. We're going to take both ends of the tail and we're going to thread it through from back to front on our tag here. And you should be able to just catch the corner. But if you're having trouble, kind of aim the corner, you know, that top edge. I usually cut an angle. And then just use your take your pick tool, give it a little push, and then watch. No problem. This ribbon looks harder to thread than it really is. All right, now let me show you even more. Here's our one tail. We're going to just get that going through the bell. And we can do the same thing. This one I've already got the tail through, but if you need to give a little push with the take your pick tool, you can. Just grab the tail and look how easy. I love, love the greenery and the red bell. And then tie. Don't pull the um, polka dot tool ribbon too tight until you've done your finesse, because if you pull it too tight, all these little fluffy dots work like speed bumps it's hard to adjust so leave the center loose pull the loops and tails and then when you've got it where you like it then tighten it up and trim this one was much better i estimated how much ribbon i needed much much better last one i think i threw like four inches of ribbon away it was crazy very uncharacteristic for me <laughs> all right so there's our little no peeking till Christmas. <laughs> Hershey's milk chocolate. Santa's. I can only make five because of the unfortunate incident that we won't speak of. <laughs> what do you guys think? I hope, I, you know, if you're, if you're doing some last minute wrapping it up for Christmas, I hope that this helps you and that you have an enjoyable craft that you can share with your friends. All right, you guys. I hope you liked the treat. Have a great weekend.